Today I will be making an exotic leather watch strap from this stingray hide. This hide has been dyed black and then sanded and polished to give this shiny finish. For the inside of the watch strap, I will be using this red Butero leather. This section here has been skived down to 1.2mm thick. This is the pattern I will be using for the watch strap. The design is for a watch and buckle I will be using, which is 21mm at the watch lugs and 18mm at the buckle. I prefer it when watch straps taper down to be thinner at the buckle, as it looks a lot more interesting than having a constant width. Start by roughly cutting out all of the pieces of the paper pattern. With the Stingray leather, I will leave this section here with the larger nodules for a different project. These large nodules are harder to use in a watch strap as they are more likely to break and become irregular when cutting. I will cut away this section of the hide to use and save the rest for another project. The easiest way to cut Stingray is to cut it from the flesh side as you cut through the leather first then through the calcium nodules. I will cut the stingray into two strips for each side of the watch strap and then trim the ends to length. For the Butero lining, I will first divide the leather into more manageable sections. Then use scotch tape to stick the pattern to the leather to keep it from moving. Carefully cut out the lining leather sections following the pattern. With the two lining sections cut out, now is a good time to apply personalized stamps to the inside of the watch strap. Next, I will skive to taper down the 8mm of gluing area for both the lining leather pieces. I will also skive part of the soft section of the stingray hide, being careful not to expose the underside of the nodules. Carefully sand down the section of the stingray which will be glued to help the glue bond better. Apply contact cement to the sanded part of the stingray and the flesh side of the lining and allow it to dry. Carefully stick the two pieces together once the contact cement has become tacky and then set these pieces aside for now. I'll be using this piece of natural vegetable tan leather to make the core of the watch strap which will help give it some contours. This piece here is 1.2mm thick. First stick the paper pattern onto the leather with scotch tape and then cut out all the pieces according to the pattern. Mark out an offset line to help centralize the position of the core leather. Apply glue to both pieces. Then stick the core onto the flesh side of the lining leather. Repeat this for the second level of the core leather. Now mark out a 3mm offset to help give a basic shape to the core leather. Skive down the core section according to the marked lines first. Then round off the shape with your skiving knife. Apply glue. Then fold over the stingray onto the lining leather. Use a solid pin to keep a hole open for the spring bar later on. Press down and use a bone folder to contour the shape of the stingray to the core leather. Trim the excess stingray outside of the lining leather. This can be difficult as you need to cut 
or break the calcium nodules of the stingray. Sand the edges of the strap smooth. Then, test fit the strap between the watch lugs and then inside the buckle. Apply the first layer of edge paint thinly along the edge. Crease the edges on the leather inside of the watch strap. Then use a hot creaser to smooth down the painted edge. Sand the edge before applying edge paint again. Repeat the sanding and edge painting process until the edge is smooth. Rub paraffin wax onto the edge. Then use the creaser on low heat to melt the wax smooth. Then burnish the edge with a canvas cloth until it is smooth. The long strap is now complete. The short strap follows a similar construction method. Glue and stick the two layers of the core leather onto the back of the lining leather. Skive the core leather to get a basic shape. Then, round off the shape to make it smooth. Glue and stick the stingray onto the lining and core leather. Then use a bone folder to mold the shape to the contours. Leave the end section without glue as this is where the keeper will be glued in later. Fold and stick the end section using a solid pin to keep the spring bar hole open. Again, mold it using a bone folder. Trim off the excess stingray, then proceed to sand and paint the edge. Edge crease the inside leather. Then apply heat treatment to smooth down the edge paint. Now I will start working on the two keepers. Begin by cutting the stingray and lining leather into strips according to the pattern. Then wrap the stingray around the straps and mark the overlap point with a knife. Trim the stingray strips to length at the marked point. Then apply glue to both the stingray and the lining leather. And stick the two sections together with a 5mm offset. Trim off the excess lining leather. Then apply glue to both the exposed ends and stick them together so that both ends are offset from each other. Use an awl to create three stitching holes evenly spaced around the joint. Stitch the keeper around the joints. Then cut the ends of the thread. Apply heat and press down to lock the threads. Sand down the edges until smooth. And apply edge paint. Finally, wax and burnish the edges to complete the keepers. Insert the keeper into the open section of the watch strap. Apply glue to the inside of the lining and the exposed stingray. Then stick them both together. Edge paint and finish the area where the joint was glued. Punch a hole in the watch strap to fit the buckle. Insert the prong, then pass the spring bar through the hole. 
Then, install the buckle into place. Install spring bars onto the ends of the watch strap. And then connect the two strap ends onto the lugs of the watch. Test fit the watch strap and mark the location of the hole for the buckle. Punch a single hole at the marked location. And now you have a truly custom watch strap with a single hole just for you to wear. If you enjoyed the build, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.